semis. And the stage of choice is going to be... I'm going to say it's going to be back to FD. And this is something we discussed a little bit earlier. But this is definitely a stage where Robin struggles to land. What an interesting way to start off the set by one big winging off the stage. I cannot help but think that this might have been a misinputted like a uh, reverse down B. But regardless, Jewel getting so much damage off of that arc fire into the aerial already putting Gray at 43%. But Gray retorting with his own strength of aerials. Jewel connecting the multi jab, effectively knocking Ray up away, finding a beautiful way to land, and is unable to punish Jewel's drift to the side. And Ray is throwing out those Wonder Wings off stage, losing all stage control. I'm not really sure why he's doing that. Maybe I'll ask him about it later. But regardless, for now, doing the back throw into the forward, really, really great stuff from Ray, just piling up the damage. And right now, ooh, Ray was trying to get a pivot cancel F tilt, I believe, but he was knocked out of it very, very unfortunate on his part and working out for Jewel in the best possible way. Right now, Jewel not able to set up at the art file because of uh, Mutopian Ray's neutral be actually being active to neutralize the hit, the, the actual projectile. Really, really interesting interaction there, and definitely something Gray is going for. He does not want to be off stage while Jewel is setting up Earth Fire. Right now, Jewel is holding his weapon, so it has a projectile, but it goes under Gray. Ooh, Gray not getting the punish on the drift downwards, not able to connect the F Smash, and that is going to be a grab coming from Jewel, throwing him off stage because the Wonder Wing crossed up the shield, and Jewel was ready for the Wonder Wing there. Because what you saw in one side was Jewel was not ready for those Wonder Wings. He was over committing to a lot of different projectiles, and then he was getting hit by those said Wonder Wings. But right now, he's ready. Jewel's ready to come back from this. But beautiful parry coming from Ray. But unfortunately, he pummeled a little bit too much, not able to get the down throw into up smash, which is usually the confirm of choice here. But here, he actually opts for back throw instead of the down throw once again. And I can't help but question as to why. But Jewel is able to get the Nosferatu, closing the, uh, the, the deficit in his percentage right now. Getting the weak, the falling hit of the up air into the back air, getting so much percentage for Jewel. And the other fire actually knocking him out of the start of the Wonder Wing, and he jumps right into Jewel's down air. What a reverse in momentum. This is not what we saw in Winter Side at all. Jewel ready for the Wonder Wing punish. Wow, wow, wow. And right away, like, Jewel is, like, catching his tomes, catching his projectiles, just not even hitting Utopia in a way, but at least forcing his movement in some way. The grenade, unfortunately, not letting Gray get the follow-up he wanted after the grab. Jewel recovering back onto stage. He has to be so careful because of the grenade. And it reset neutral freedom effectively, so it's a really, really smart choice to pick it up. Jewel is sitting at a hefty 202%. The amount of extra credit that he is obtaining right now is unheard of. Beautiful up smash, almost taking it even. And he is ready for that Wonder Wing punish. Opting for the back heel off stage. Arc Thunder um, maybe trying to catch a fastball landing, but regardless, Utopian Ray successfully subverting that. And this is looking like such a dominant lead for Jewel right now. Ray has to do. Ray has to make it unheard of comeback to, to you know. But. Right now, Jewel's looking to get something started with the arc fires, and we see Ray mixing up his out of shield option in response to the arc fire hitting the shield, deciding to roll out as opposed to actually stay in it. And the nail, not quite enough to take it out. And that is going to be the first stock actually lost through Jewel. And all he needs now is a good forward, he needs a good up smash, he needs a good arc fire at ledge. And that, ah, not quite yet. Ray is starting to. Like at least get a little something started, but the arc fire is effectively going to knock him all the way back. Jewel choosing to dip all the way down just to charge his projectiles just so ever so slightly more. And you just see like Ray not letting Jewel touch him at all, but wow, that set him flying. And that is going, yep, that is going to be it. Ray has to be really, really conservative with his use of the Wonder Wing. Because as he is crossing up Jewel's shield, he's just getting punished for it over and over. And even the times he's not crossing up the shield, you see Jewel maneuvering around it. He sees him jumping up. You see him following the drift of it. But Jewel, compared to Winner's side right now, is playing 
so many times better because I think the one day wings and getting back to stage definitely posed a big problem for Jewel winning side, but his ability to adapt right now is insane. So right now, Utopian Ray has to mix it up or else this is going to be looking like a very, very, very clean 2 opium Jewel. And joining me on commentary, we will be having Osti. Yo, what's going on? What I miss? Uh, What's he happening? missed a very, very dominating game one from Jewel. He was up three stocks to one and barely lost his third one when he took out Ray's last. But for game two, they're going to Yanova. Man, Jewel was going off, huh? Yep. But, I mean, Jewel got sent to losers pretty early on, but now here he is sitting. Yep. Loser semis trying to put in some mad work with the Robin. Yep. This is a character that a lot of people say is just not good. Yep. Bottom five on their tier list, but Jewel makes it work in New York City. Come yep. to New York. He'll mess you up. Look at that! Look at Trying to connect the third one, trying to read maybe a drift downwards from the token Ray, but unfortunately not connecting it. And right now, Jewel has to find a way to land, but Ray retorting with his own Florida, just knocking Jewel all the way back. But Ray's getting a lot of mileage off of these eggs. He got a gimp off of that. Was that, that an SD from Jewel? He ran out of tone. He couldn't get back to ledge. Oh man, you gotta be counting on those, but unfortunately for him, he was put in a very bad situation off stage. Yeah. Going with the nail on the shield. Wow. He got both of them? There we go. I have never seen a Robin do an up B out of shield. Aggressively. Okay. <laughs> okay, Arc Fire gets the wow. confirm, gets the kill. Levin Sword gonna find its mark. One stock mm -hmm. away, two stocks apiece. Right okay, now, the Thor are not. not uh, Topian Rage is still holding the shield for it, not getting the poke, unfortunately. But Jewel is like keeping up this pressure with the projectiles, but the Wonder Wing armoring through whatever Jewel was trying to set up. And Ray suddenly amassed 78% in a matter of seconds. Yeah, that's a really good option to be able to throw out whenever you got someone of the likes of Robin who's got projectiles. Right there, you see him going for the uppy. He had to commit to the double jump afterwards because he didn't have the invincibility upon re grabbing the ledge. Yep. And right now, like what I've noticed a little bit earlier as well that Utopian Ray does phenomenally is how he is able to successfully circumvent the arc fires at the ledge, making the most out of Banjo's jumps, and you just see that time and time again. But right now he is struggling to land, but spacing the nail really, really well on Jewel's shield just to put himself in a nice and safe position. Ray's doing a fantastic job of catching these short hop forward airs. Every single time that Jewel goes for a jump at a shield or just anything like that, the delay of the swing catches him off guard and sends him flying off stage. Yep. He's doing a fantastic grenade game yep. right now. And, ooh, and right now, Jewel is able to actually get back successfully. That uh, grenade going out from Utopian Ray, unfortunately not connecting. And right now, both of them sitting in shield, both of them a little too afraid to come into anything right now. The grenade invalidating the other side, and the off of the down tilt. I mean, Banjo's down tilt is such, if you're on the ledge, that's a got of yep. GG's moment. You, you gotta be <laughs> careful. Uh, and he was positioning himself perfectly for the goal, but unfortunately he was stuck in the lag of Arcfire, not able to punish the goal back onto stage. Uh, Ray actually getting hit by the Arcfire there, but Jewel not able to convert off of it. Now, Ray's been stuck on this ledge for quite a hot minute, finally got the kill, but he was doing a fantastic yep. job of trying to stall out those Arcfire. You saw him chilling off stage, trying to go for the double jump, waiting for the exact moment to get back on, but Jewel disallowed yep. it the whole time. One stock apiece. And this juggling from Ray right now, like with all of those up airs, so, so, so good on Rob, and a character that has relatively mediocre landing options. But right now, Jewel able to convert all of the arc fire to a forward air and the neutral air, already a massive 47.5%, and a Nosferatu to top it all off. Bro, Jewel he was nuts. He was chasing her. You yep. saw that, but now, just right back, they're just clapping back over and over again. Yep. Ray doesn't want to get 2 0 right away. Ray was telling me he was actually looking to try to win this tournament. I know there's been a lot of. <gasps> not gonna happen! <laughs> it's not gonna happen! I'm sorry, Ray! You and, got fourth, GG though! And that is something that I did notice a little bit earlier from Utopian Ray as well. He really needs to mix up how he responds to arc fire on his shield because right now he's just let. He's dropping it preemptively, he's getting poked through it, and then. He, like, Jewel is able to just <laughs> land that up air, and that's the game. That's GG's all he well. needs. Yeah, G no. GG's, GG's well. <laughs> That's the thing. With the Levin Sword, that thing is so strong, man. It hits you like a truck. Yep. When you get a, when you get it off of, like, a projectile, you get the conversion, you get the kill, it's over. Yep. And, it, like, it's showing him again. We have a Robin here now in top three. Now, I've heard that Venia is the one that's been, like, on a rampage here at Xeno. Yep. You know, you see him winning a lot of Xenos recently. Mystery being, like, one of the only ones that try to, like, compete with him. He just beat him in Winter's yep. Finals.